going on family black phoenix checking in with you this morning and i wanted to come to you with a new episode of let's rap smoke and well and i actually wanted to talk to you today about having your own equipment and using your job to actually finance your business and a lot of people think sometimes we got to go all the way out in order to get started and we don't really take into consideration that We've been working on this job for X amount of years because a lot of good welders that I have met, they've been with companies 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And it's something inside their spirit, inside their heart that said, man, I really want to be independent. I want to start a business, but the taxes and the laws and, and filing for my uh, EIN, all this stuff, man, it can get confusing. And I think actually that the system designed it like that. So that way it would discourage you from starting your own business and just keeping a job and just, you know, paying homage to the system besides paying homage to yourself and to your family. You know what I mean? Because if you start an independent business, you can actually be able to bless your family with something because you can be with a company for, you know, forever and you can't promise your kids, hey, you know what? I've been with them. I'm going to get everybody a job. They're going to give you a job, a no brainer. In some places it's like that, but. I mean, if you're really trying to be free in America, if you are African American and you're trying to be free, a black native, you're going to have to have your business. But there's nothing wrong with working for someone. There's nothing wrong with working for someone and doing your business because it's going to take a minute to get things off the ground. And then even once you get there, you might have different ads or different things that people might come to you and say, hey, do this for me. I pay you blase blase. So it's a different type of relationship. But I most definitely think that until you actually just go on and get started, just going to stand there, man. So I got my stinger here because I wanted to talk about having your own equipment. Even when you're doing a job, if you want to get the maximize your pay at your job, wherever you at, people respect you having your own stuff, having what you need to help them get their job done. You see what I'm saying? And some jobs even give uh, allowances to help you buy certain things you need so that way you can help them complete a job safer and faster. You know, so investing in, in, in small things like your stinger, like I'm going to say this because I have worked for many companies that uh, provided, you know, all, all the equipment. And a lot of companies, you know, by law, uh, OSHA or MSHA, um, whatever the job needs you to do, they have to provide the equipment or the PPE necessary uh, required for you to do whatever the task is. Now, certain things is on you, but a lot of big things like, you know, like a stinger, they got to provide that. But a lot of people don't take care of the company stuff. You know what I mean? You have seen it. Stingers falling apart. You try to put a rod in the end of it. It just falls out. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Just headache. You got to hold it trying to wear. It just makes the job very complicated and longer and frustrating. So I have learned to just provide my own stinger you know you can get the ground that's that's not an issue they can provide a ground you can have your own which i do have a ground and a stinger i would prefer you to get both but at least get you a, a, a stinger starting out you can go to a weather supply store and you can get you 10 foot of lead buy you the the stinger and the end that way you can you know screw it into whatever system that you're working with and put it up when you're done because you know you're not going to drop your stuff or break your end and then you're actually going to you don't have to go all the way out they got some ends that's like don't no lie a hundred dollars you know what i mean i never spent that much for for an end now they got some pipe welding ends that people spend good you know good money for and i'm a pipe welder but i don't pipe weld all the time you know i do more of a commercial industrial you know that's what really what my money is it my money is at commercial industrial, but I do residential and, you know, just field piping, but I don't do a lot of it, but I can do it. It's not an issue, but I'm not going to invest in a hundred dollar stinger unless I need that for that particular job. I can get by with this one. Actually, this stinger I got right here is probably about a $40, you know, 45, you know, $50 thing. I think that's a good one. And this one lasts me a long time. So it's all on each his own. So before I get to my next topic, I'm going to fire my blunt up. If I can get a light, excuse me. You know what they say, if you're a smoker, you got to stay equipped with all your equipment. <laughs> so, 
So now I do have my miracle, um, my medical marijuana card. So for those that might want to know, um, so uh, in Arizona, uh, it's not hard to get one. Actually, as long as you're 21 years old, you got a medical condition, you can pretty much go to pretty much any doctor, side doctor, and get your card. So it's not hard. My mom uh, actually passed from uh, over-the-counter drugs. They gave, told her to mix this with this, and it caused some things, and it killed her. It gave her a heart attack in her sleep. So I don't do over-the-counter drugs at all. You know, like aspirin, you know, um, Benadryl, you know, different little small stuff that I have to use, but I don't take medication. I don't do hydros, Xanax. I don't do pills, you know. So when I, I work a hard day, I like to smoke relax or eat an edible and just relax you know what i mean um dealing with my you know pains from hands and just anxiety at times you know just just life you know what i mean so i would rather smoke i don't drink uh i do drink on occasions but i'm not like a heavy drinker at all i don't keep beer in my refrigerator alcohol none of that um i don't like doing nothing that i'm not in control of myself you know because a lot of times we would get on things and do things and then you lose control so that's why i don't do heavy drugs because i didn't see people do hydros and fall asleep driving and just nodding off and just i ain't with all that i ain't with all that you know what i mean i just want to be simple i smoke me a little weed eat my little edibles i like to drink coffee and you know and that's that's pretty much it with me i mean you know i drink on occasion like i say if i go out and have fun with a friend or so you know i have a good time but i'm not no drinker you know what i mean so a couple beers have me at my limit no lie <laughs> but i think it's very important back to the topic for us to invest in our tools now the stinger like i say is it doesn't cost a lot to do this it's not a lot of money but just investing in your equipment a good welding hood to do multi-processing or if you're just doing stick welding only a flux core at least get you a a, um, a auto shade lens you know what i mean i know the regular welding hood you can get from school that's gonna have the black lens in it that's fine nothing wrong with learning like that but it is 2020 and you'll be faster with an auto darken hood that's all i'm saying <laughs> you know like Kate williams said i think you'll be faster in the batmans <laughs> you know what i mean you ain't got to go get the jordans but I think you can, you know, the Batman's to do, you at least need an auto darken because that can help you a lot. Like, no BS, you know what I mean? So, I would most definitely say invest in that because that can help take you to another level. And just like I said the other day, chip and hammer, raw brush, you know, um, tape measure. I mean, that can get you good money there alone, especially getting a job. You go in with that, you got your steel toe boots on for working in the shop, your gloves, you know, and a lot of stuff they provide, you know, so you got to have your basic going there with you a little kid and people will see, oh man, he's serious about what he do and, and know what you're doing because that way you can get the money easier, you know. And this is for those who are looking for jobs or using jobs to finance their business because I use the job to finance my business, so, and I still use side jobs. You know, I get different little contracts that might last a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months or whatever. And if it's worth my time in my area now, because I was traveling, but now I don't do that no more as far as like going big travel uh, jobs.